Hello. Nice to you. Freedom Planet 2. Last part, we did half of Okinawa. And this part, maybe finish? I don't remember if any of the remaining stages are long. And also, like, with it being possibly the last one, I'd be willing to record for a bit longer on this one. Finales deserve it. I'm trying to remember what bosses besides Murga are left. Am I out of rival characters, or is there one more? Uh, that's the wall of spikes. You know, sometimes it's correct to go rightward, and sometimes it's a wall of spikes, so you should probably look. <laughs> Oh right, Serpentine's gonna do stuff on this level. Those, these blocks down here aren't moving. Wait, what am I doing? Right, Serpentine does... Is everybody here, or...? I don't remember if our controlled character actually says anything. This ship is now under the command of General Serpentine! I hate to disappoint my former allies, but in light of my desire to leave this wretched planet, the moon harvesting will proceed as planned! That's a relief! Now we don't have to play Betrayal Musical Chairs! I was getting super confused! He still intends to blow up the moon. This is not an improvement. Stick with the plan! We need to stop Bakunawa no matter who's in charge! I think all those lines still happen regardless of who you're controlling. Although, wait. Uh. Carol didn't have a line in that. I definitely remember stick with the plan. I also definitely remember taking a bunch of damage in this part. <laughs> This isn't the first time it's happened. I'd like if it didn't, though. My shield almost covers up all of my health. Uh, so wait. Yeah, just uh, pick this up. That'll help a little. Losing track of where I was relative to the enemy because of the ground moving. Uh. All right. No, oh, it's still here. I'd like to not get chomped, but I'd also like to not lose my platform entirely. Trying to actually get a one-up on this level. Maybe I should have been trying for that earlier, if I was gonna do it. There are probably still enough gems. Oh, oh right. This part. Sure, there are a lot of warps, but each one just leads to one other, so it's not really a maze. 
Yep. you do it. Alright, not bad. <laughs> There's a one up. Yeah. Get lost. Done with you already. But who's to say that I am done with you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's referring to Mila with that. Because he has all the cards. No. Oh. Or did he say minions plural? Might have just meant all the robots. Not gonna get another one up. decided that one needed to die. Wait. That was never going to be productive. Right, it's like this. Okay. gotten another one up if I tried a little harder to hit the gem boxes. wrap around in this segment. There's no like needing to guess where the portals go. One up number two. They just like giving you free gems from the enemies shooting things. Bunch of free health at the end. War dog, sick him. Huh? Me? Yes, you. Do you see any other traitors around here? Um. Well, honestly, I didn't think you'd make it this far. Oh, what a surprise! Betrayed by the very pup I trusted to betray her friends. Ha! Too bad for you. I am prepared for every contingency. In this game of chess, I hold all the cards. Um, that's not how you... This dog is a traitor to you by birthright. It doesn't matter if she refuses to fight for me. After all, we hailed from the same planet. The homeland of the magnificent Lord Brevin! Mila, is this true? Of course! We even made a deal for her to go home, in exchange for slaughtering the lot of you! No! I... I mean... I guess it's true about me not being from this planet! And I'm not a traitor! I'm... I'm not a monster! 
I already know. Thank you. I'm not going with you, Serpentine, and that's final. Four of a kind, checkmate. Syntax, resonance link. <laughs> Mila, we need to stop that resonance link. is kind of close actually oh right the phase transition or no right he is gonna have another phase i remembered sort of eventually and he's even gonna try to explode on me at the end Does the extra stuff only exist when you're Mila? Curse you! Well, no matter. With Code Black installed, I can simply flood this chamber Or was it an earlier level? Robots. Then we'll see who has the last left. No! No! What happened? A bold move, General. But the will of Bakunawa has been restored. You have ten seconds to leave. Gotta go! Oh, yeah. I had all the that... That felt anyway, I can probably skip this one since all four characters are present. Oh, right. I'm gonna get zapped a bunch. I don't have a good way to hang in the air. I guess actually the up special is pretty good at that. <laughs> Just thought everyone else is playing Sonic, but Nira is playing Super Smash Brothers. I think I've already had a remark like that, but not like phrased that way. I don't know, maybe Nero's playing Rivals of Ether actually. Doesn't have to be Smash Bros. I don't think she quite moves like a Rivals of Ether character though. That's a slightly faster paced game. Guess it depends on if you're comparing to Melee or a different Smash Bros. Ooh. Jumped just in time, I guess. Oh, 
Right, so this is the ship core boss fight. Not sure what that is, but I don't know if I want to stick around. to do with this cannon, but apparently it can shoot through terrain? Did I know that and just forget it? Got him. Yeah, whatever, just go down. I don't need the other cannon for anything. It's always left and right to aim. but I don't really need it dead. I mean, I also don't need it alive, but... You know. I just wasted a whole shield there, but I'd stacked this shield with another one. a cannon thing. Just as a platform. These surfaces don't get frozen either. I kind of noticed that earlier in the level, but... I figure if I commented on the uh, hot areas not having an ice trail version, maybe I should actually say it here, too. Uh, okay, the checkpoint happened when I went right, and we got a boss alert. Gonna get shot at from the foreground. Where's it from... The background? I mean, <laughs> Murga's in the foreground. But I don't remember where the actual bullets come from. a lot of damage. Okay. This time it was dodged. I guess I got out of it though. I'm still like in perilous condition. Oh, they got me. And I didn't have a one up. 
Gotta actually win that fight properly. Oh, was there health in the arena? No, there was health before the arena. Oh. <laughs> that, this isn't a cutscene. <laughs> I see. the health still exist? No, it's gone. I feel like I'm getting beat up way faster despite not even taking a cannon blast. gonna burn all the crystals here and then I won't have any for actually fighting Murga. <laughs> hmm. I think this is the first time I've actually lost this fight though. That's weird. Thought Nero was like <laughs> good at combat. Just, yeah, every time the big laser is charging, it's like a good time to do like a full health segment of damage on the thing. Actually, is it like highly resistant to damage the rest of the time? Okay, got him. Close one, though. I guess it makes sense considering it was like the third try. It's less likely that I would then like win with full health left or something. You fought well. Too bad you're on the wrong side. All right, yeah, we're gonna finish the game. As is probably already apparent in the title. You should have run. Let there be no more death today, Murga. The actual player character barely this says anything, but I'm gonna to let it play out. For the sins of my people. Hollow words from a boy who grew up in a palace built on those sins. I know that the Earth Dragons, my people, had enslaved your own. I know of the accidental test fire of Bakanawa's mining laser killing thousands of water dragons in the blink of an eye. All these events and more were excised from history by earth dragon hands. I apologize for my complicity through ignorance. You think that a mere apology can erase our suffering? No, and that is why I intend to bring this secret history to light. Tell the world what really happened and venerate the water dragon's struggle against my people's tyranny. Everyone will know what the Earth Dragons have done. Please, let this world live. <laughs> J 
to be remembered as slaves who rebelled against their masters and lost? Or the monsters that killed the world? What choice do I really have as the one final breath of the water dragons? Wait, you don't have to... You will pay for what you did to Shang Tu! Enough! No more words. Only duty remains, and I shall fulfill it. Your suffering will be a masterpiece! Blue Moon! Doing all right so far. in the air like that because I was always taking a hit to that yeah that's how we do it Ow. okay probably a full healer here oh no it's only three petals a lot more attackable in this phase. like two full segments but per hit <laughs> okay yeah I just needed one more attack eclipse How to fight Eclipse, but I think this is a checkpoint. Just not 
getting the rhythm of this fight, huh? Spikes. All right. And yeah, we start from Eclipse. Eclipse. deploying those because every time I bounce off of them it's accidental but they seem reasonably effective out okay Because I focused a little early. Ow. Oh. That does let me bounce to avoid the, uh... The uh, spikes being on both sides. Right. There is that. miss every attack. Oh, you're already on five? <laughs> Just jump right into the purple thing. moves. I was paying attention to the boss, but not the purple thing. Well, that went poorly. Didn't even deal half. What did I do as Lilac and Carol that <laughs> made it go so much better? I guess Carol had that uh, damage over time thing equipped. Oh. 
expecting more of a gap between attacks. Well, that was at least a lot closer. Seeking for me. Oh, you can dash. Okay, I had some cool stuff going at the very beginning of this. that time. Got her. I thought I might have her there, but didn't want to jinx it. <laughs> no! I tank a lot during Those that attack, but I also deal suffer. a lot of damage. The water dragons will have justice! I will have my revenge! Murga! No! We have to leave. It's not safe here. need the ending to play out and that'll be it for the series next up I'm actually gonna be playing six games in one randomizer by the collective efforts of our three kingdoms the threat of Makanawa has come to an end yet as the moon we defended so passionately fades into the horizon, I cannot help but dwell on the unsettling truth that has been revealed to us. Again, literally just watching this for presumably a scene between Nira and Ascal in a hallway.
what is punishment enough for conspiracy to silence an entire world? Will an act of forgiveness lead to peaceful resolution? Or will it buckle under the weight of those unwilling to change? Perhaps there is no perfect answer. Nevertheless, I feel it is my duty to pursue an outcome that I believe would break the cycle of conflict that has consumed our world for generations. The atrocities of our past should never be forgotten, but neither should they be repeated. Under regular circumstances, our laws would pronounce your deeds to be acts of war, and in the former sergeant's case, treason. Such crimes would be punishable by life in prison, or even death. <coughs> However, these are not regular circumstances. In light of certain facts that have been brought to light, the severity of your punishments will be reduced. I hereby sentence the four of you to six months of community service. You will remain in Shang Tu for the duration of your sentence, to clean up the mess caused by your callous disregard for our property. And you'd better do a good job. Those fossils in the museum ain't gonna rebuild themselves, you know. As you wish. Captain Kalau will do as the Hammer of Justice wills. Well, on the bright side. I guess you get to see me more often, sis. As for your ringleader, we have found neither hide nor tail of Murga in Bacchanal's wreckage. We would have offered her clemency in the same manner as you, but I strongly suspect she would not have cared for an Earth Dragon's ruling. And now I declare this ruling to be concluded. General Gong will hand out your assignments. Nira, may I have a private word with you and your friends? How fair is Sash Lilac? She hasn't woken up yet. She's strong, though, so I wouldn't be surprised if she's up and about in a day or so. That is good to hear. And thank you, all of you. Once again, the day is saved thanks to your efforts. Pshaw! Saving the world? No worries! Well, actually, Scary Lady here was new to all this, but we showed her the ropes. Yes, however would I have survived without your apt tutelage? See? She even picked up a sense of humor! There is... something else. Now that we are aware of the full facts behind my people's rule and abuse of power, it would be disgraceful to continue as if nothing has changed. Which is why I am stepping down as the leader of Shang Tu. What? No, Magister, you can't! I must. If change is to happen, then it has to come from within. We will take a page from our neighboring city and appoint a new leader through free elections. In the meantime, a regent must be appointed to oversee the proceedings are fair and just. I was hoping that you would fulfill that role, Nira. M me? Uh, what? I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Who's the most honorable person we know who'd protect and defend Cheng Tu at all costs? Yeah, and we have the freeze burns and jail time to prove it. Seriously, though, innocent until proven guilty next time? I... I would be honored, but surely there are others just as loyal. Perhaps. But none of them have battled a water dragon centurion on a spaceship that was about to eat the moon. That is both a rare sentence and achievement. In that case, it would be my honor to accept this duty. I will not fail our people, nor leave our lands undefended. Excellent. Then I pronounce you... Regent Nira Lee of Shang Tu. Woo! Congratulations, Lady Nira! Yeah, major congrats, scary lady. I mean, Regent Scary Lady. Thank you. But what will you do now, Magister? There is still so much history lost or hidden away by the Earth Dragons. My intention is to roam the world of Avalis to try and document what remnants may remain. But for now, get some rest and I shall prepare what duties lie ahead of you as regent. Didn't think I'd see you again. I live here, and I thought you might like to know that the Magister has decided to abdicate from his position. 
He saw it fit to choose another to oversee the future of Shang Tu. Looks like your revolution was a success after all. <laughs> yeah, right. So he's gone off to do whatever it is the ex-royals do, but he's put a puppet on the throne to take his place. So the system goes on and nothing changes. Perhaps. It is difficult to question the ways we've always known. I hope for a future where a dialogue between the old and new can occur without violence. And I think new leadership can facilitate that. <laughs> sure are putting a lot of faith in the new guy. New gal. And again, perhaps. Mila, report. It's Lilac! She's awake! Lilac! You guys got here a little late. She's gone off to find Murga. Oh, last of the water dragon's business? Ah, <sighs> so she's pulling a carol. I see. You guys are I never guess I could skip it from this point, but you. whatever. It's never. the end. Do you think she'll come back? Given her inclination towards heroics, I would presume we would merely have to weather some kind of alien invasion, and she would come running back. You're not wrong there. I could put on a cape, laugh maniacally, and declare my plan to conquer the world. Please do not. Alright, slightly defrosted. <laughs> oh, uh, whatever. We saw all the times when the levels actually ended. So, uh, yeah. That's it for Freedom Planet 2. Yeah.